Hi right guys, this is a video review and overview of BB Flashback Pro. As I said in a previous video, these guys contacted me on YouTube and said, Hey, do you want to use the professional version of our software? We see you're making screen tutorials. All we ask in return is that you use our software for the tutorials. And that's what I've been doing. It's been fantastic. So I thought I'd give an overview as a thank you to them and also do it as a comparison to Cam Studio. Cam Studio is that free screen recorder that I've been using for about 75% of my videos. And obviously there will be some major changes and there are some subtle differences um, but bear in mind that Cam Studio is free so you can just download it now if you want to and BB Flashback Pro will set you back over a hundred pounds I also believe that I've got a link here that you can also get the standard edition for 43 pounds or you can even go ahead and get the express edition which is free and you ha do have a trial period with that so go ahead and try that out if you want to see what this is like so let's get into it firstly is the recording now with cam studio you can just record a section of the screen and you can move your mouse around and you can have an auto pan so it will follow your, your mouse around but with uh, BB Flashback Pro you have the option of recording sections of your screen and also full screen as you can see here I'm actually recording the whole screen that way I can do uh, effects at the end of the video like uh, panning myself manually into various parts that I want to highlight which is very useful because with Cam Studio you had to make sure you weren't moving the mouse around too quickly otherwise you'd start confusing people and then you'd also get the comments of people saying that you were zoomed too far in and you're missing information so that was a problem with Cam Studio which is now solved with this player. Now Cam Studio, once you'd finished, all you'd get was the generated file. So you'd get like an AVI file. But with this, you, you can see you get this nice little editor. Now this is the BB Flashback Pro player. As you can see, we sort of have a timeline along here. And we've got various things that it's recorded. Now, as I said with the uh, Cam Studio recording, it just does the screen. If you get it to record your microphone as well, it does that. But you can also set it using your sound mixer to record the PC sounds. However, in this software, it does the microphone and the PC sounds. And you don't even even need to mess with the stereo mix to get the PC sounds. Now, on a previous installation of this software, I couldn't get the PC sounds working. Not sure why. I did a reinstall and it works perfectly. Everything goes through fine. And as you can see, we've got the uh, little graph of the uh, the voice, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's uh, also all along the timeline, so you just sort of go backwards and forwards, you can put it wherever you like. Now one thing I would like to see with this timeline, which I haven't figured out yet, which I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments, is how we can sort of zoom out, because I do find myself using this slider a lot, trying to find where I am, but I'm sure that can be fixed in the future. Now you can add extra bits here inside this editor, you can add a soundtrack, or you can record an extra sort of narr narration, <laughs> struggling to say that word, uh, but you, you can add narration to your video if you've made it um, previously and you've only re recorded the screen and your mic wasn't working or something, you can then do your own narr narration afterwards. So you can also add uh, other soundtracks in if you wish to, so that's just if you want to add uh, multiple things in. and that's about it really for this timeline area you can just do specific things you can cut things you can split things you can delete things just the usual stuff you'd expect from a high quality editor now obviously this is the preview area very useful stuff if you do your manual zooming and panning you must uh, do the apply effects to be able to see it inside this area this is a little bit strange at first I wasn't sure why I wasn't seeing what I was doing and it kept popping up do you want to apply the effects I'd like it to do it by default but that's a useful thing if you want to untick it and then not have to look at it. At <coughs> excuse me. Now, extra things you can put in are markers, annotations, pictures, highlights, and buttons. So this is pretty much the same thing as YouTube does. Uh, so it's up to you whether you want to use that. I suppose it does look a little bit more professional inside uh, this specific video and it looks different to what you do on YouTube because obviously that's all in overlays and if you want to upload it to other websites that don't have these annotation features then you can do it all inside this video player and you can also do things with the cursor so you may notice because I've noticed quite a lot of people using BB Flashback Pro now or BB Flashback Express and that when they've recorded their video you'll find they've got a, like, a little yellow orb around their mouse now I assume this is to highlight the mouse but for me it, it's annoying I did have it on one of my videos where it was showing the clicks as well but I started getting complaints from people so all you have to do is click this button and then untick highlight mouse clicks untick highlight mouse cursors we can even change the opacity and the border colors if you don't like that yellow but it's just useful. As for the zoom and pan, now you can have different effects with the zoom and pan. So you can change the speed of it. If you need to quickly zoom in on something, then you just use that. Or you can just um, do it very slowly. You can do different sizes and positions, which usually you'll, you'll just 
resize yourself inside the thing and also you can change the transition curve so you can think like if you want it to zoom in quickly at a steady pace or you want it to start slow go quick then go slow again when you're zooming just to make it look a little bit more professional uh, then you can do that here as well so very very useful stuff you can jump to specific points in the video and you can change the view if you want to and you can do various other clippings and things like that so very useful stuff especially in the editor because as I said things like uh, Cam Studio didn't come with an editor but again it was free now Camtasia Studio I have to admit I haven't tried because it's very expensive I haven't really tried the trial either I have used ScreenFlow on the Mac and this is very similar but I feel that this has much more features now you may not see but in this uh, frames area which is all the different things that you're doing inside your screen recording there are some things that says it's got a mouse here now if you move your mouse to the top of the screen in these little blocks they'll actually go up so you'll see what, at what point your mouse is inside the screen it's, it's strange but it does it, it's really useful you can also see as you can see we've got a preview inside each frame so that's pretty cool stuff and you've got some other things like anything that's done with the uh, movie part I think I'm not quite sure what that icon is and the one below it but it, it, it's pretty useful stuff if you want to check out exactly what point your mouse is in the timeline so that is the player and all the editor parts of it now let's talk about the uh, extracting into videos now with Cam Studio you had to install extra bits or you had to do the Cam Studio lossless codec and you had to worry about what the screen size was, was be and then once you've done that screen size you've got to worry about if there's any errors because a lot of people would get errors on the main codecs that we used and it, you wouldn't understand what the, mirror, uh, the error said it was like wave output or something like that but with this obviously because it's a professional software it's going to work flawlessly and uh, you don't really have to worry about codecs if I go to export you can see we've got an option of internet ready formats and other formats flash quicktime and windows media video so it does all of these and also AVI, XE and powerpoint if you even want to do that now I use AVI every time I export I will tell you the size of this video in the description so you can see but when I do AVI, I go to AVI and I, then I go to the XVID MPEG-4 codec, then I leave everything else alone, click OK, click Export, it starts doing it. So you guys get to see HD videos, which is what I've been wanting to do for a long time, but with Cam Studio it's bringing up massive files. And uh, one thing I do notice that uh, towards the end it does start to lag, so I'm hoping at this point that it doesn't lag. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, I'm, I hope it isn't the speed of my computer and I'm, I'm not sure if it's Windows 7 because uh, my computer is fairly quick to be honest and um, well it does lag so I have noticed that on some videos now another thing with this is that it can record the webcam now with the webcam it, you can't drag it around on the workspace I would have thought that would have been a good feature but unfortunately it doesn't do it when I had uh, sorry no that's wrong <laughs> you can drag it around on the workspace however you can't resize it so I was recording in 640 by 360 and it ended up a massive thing I can move it around but I wanted to make it a little bit smaller and just put it in the corner or something with me talking but it wouldn't let me do it it just has webcam and an extra bit here and it just puts it on it this is very similar to Camtasia Studio I hear and also ScreenFlow so again I'm hoping that at this point it isn't lagging now I talk about the upload to YouTube feature now you do have quite a few things that you can upload to you can even upload to FTP but you've got a lot of video sharing sites and you can add some more if you need to in the manage upload profile section however I would recommend using the export button because with upload to YouTube you may find yourself if you made a very long uh, review or tutorial or whatever that you'll find that it may give you an error when it's uploading now YouTube gives me a lot of errors when I'm uploading videos anyway but this gives you something like a bad response error and then it doesn't upload it at all so that's a big problem and uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be fixable or if YouTube will back up their ideas and actually fix the uh, uploading even though it's a free service I understand but um, I would recommend using the export and then going to YouTube manually and then doing it so that's just an overview as a review for the price it's a pretty good piece of software I've enjoyed using it I like how everything is very in-depth and everything works perfectly for what I want to do uh, one thing again I don't like is the webcam not being able to resize it I don't like the fact that um, it starts to lag towards the end of the video and pretty much uploading to YouTube 
as I'm one person to as I'm one to upload straight to YouTube, that would be a nice feature for it not to error out. But again, I don't know if it's Blueberry Software's fault or YouTube's fault. But other than that, as you can see, this is BB Flashback Pro. Try out the Express Edition; it's a free trial. See what you think. If you like it, go ahead and get the standard, or even go ahead and go and get the Professional Edition. You'll find all the features of those on the website, which I'll include in the description. And as you'll notice, this is £109 for the Pro. Uh, sorry, the Professional Ver Edition and it's considerably more expensive than Camtasia Studio which is $299 which I think is around something like £200 or £180 so you are saving considerably with BB Flashback Pro. So that's about it really, I hope I haven't you know, babbled on for too long, I hope you enjoyed the video so thanks for watching and please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.